What's up YouTube, it's Intellectual Money here, and today we're going to be discussing the Tesla Model S Plaid that was recently released. Tesla has done it again with making a huge statement in the car industry, um, in my opinion, with when it comes to manufacturing and engineering. On June 10th, 2021, Tesla uh, releases at their Fremont factory the Tesla Model S Plaid. What I'm going to be discussing is the specs and features on this car that I think are going to be putting added pressure on other car manufacturers to get the most out of their engineers to produce even better and better products. It's one of the best aspects of business, and that's competition. Competition helps keep um, companies in their respective industries you know, on their toes to further innovation, to try to produce the best products as they can for the consumer. I believe Tesla has long had this effect on the car industry and the Plaid is just another example of that. For just under $140,000, if you keep everything basic and um, you get the FSD package with it, you get a car with features and performance that no other car company has offered to the market at this MSRP um, price uh, so far. When it comes to performance, the Plaid is unmatched in any which way you want to measure acceleration for a production car. Zero to 60 at 1.99 seconds, and for the quarter mile time, you get you clock in around 9.23 seconds at 155 mile per hour trap speed. 200 miles per hour for the car's total top speed. When you look at some of the fastest accelerating cars on the market, whether it be EV or an ICE vehicle, none of them seem to reach any of these numbers, at least for the cars that I've looked up. All I'm seeing is a bunch of cars that can get sub three seconds, um, nothing coming really close to cracking two seconds, and just at a price way more than the, uh, the Plaid. And even when you factor in fuel and maintenance um, compared to the Plaid, it's less efficient um, and it's a lot more to, to ma maintain. It doesn't matter if it's the uh, Bugatti, Lamborghini, Porsche, BMW, M8, Ferrari, um, none of them can catch the Plaid going zero to 60. Now with the range at 390 miles per hour, that is pretty respectable for a car that's set up and optimized more for speed than for longevity. I applaud Tesla for that. And also the added flex of the improved entertainment system that in my opinion speaks to them being very close to solving um, complete autonomous full self-driving. To come out with a car that literally has 60 frames per second, PS5, uh, capability, graphics, and everything. Um, the same year that Elon has mentioned many times in the past in 2020, um, I believe that 2021 would be the year that they solve full autonomous driving. Um, I think it speaks, I think it's, I think Tesla's pretty confident on um, how close they are with, the, with that technology. With all this information and also the opinions of Tesla owners, who have um, full self-driving, the current version installed, I'm fine with going on record that there is an 80% chance that by at least the completion of 2022, we will have full level five um, autonomous uh, driving for Teslas, either in you know states or certain countries, if not by later this year. The statement and objective was clear um, to me with Tesla, um, with the Model S Plaid that they delivered. Essentially, engineer a car that will check off every, pretty much every box, every conceivable box um, of what you would want or what the consumer would want from a car. Not only is it one of the safest, if not the safest vehicles on the market, it's providing people with a vehicle that has top tier speed whenever you wanna drive a little sporty while being efficient as the exterior has the lowest drag coefficient, period. A 
car that will one day, if Tesla solves, would be level five autonomous where even the driver can be driven, which should even add more safety as Tesla continues to garner as much driving uh, data as they can. Now, as we know, um, there's multiple ways to avoid drunk driving. Um, there's, you could get an Uber, you can get a Lyft, a taxi, um, you can leave your keys down uh, at a friend's house, then you know leave and get your car back in the morning. But a lot of people they don't like to go through that inconvenience, so a lot of people like try to like truck through the drunk driving. And um, hopefully, with level five autonomous, um, that could even prevent those situations from happening. If you know if you're drunk, just allow your car to drive back for you. If you end up in a situation where you're out with your car, you didn't plan on getting drunk and you did. You know, that's not just another added convenience of um, the full self driving. In car gaming on a beautiful 17 inch display in the front uh, cabin part, and then also we uh, there's a smaller display in the rear so that everyone in the uh, in the plaid will be entertained. The biggest thing I haven't heard anyone speak about yet is when a car like this um, one day potentially getting onto the Tesla fleet once that becomes online. Why would somebody want to pay more to be in an Uber or a Lyft when you can literally be in a car that has PS5 level graphics and gaming? With being electric and um, obviously fully autonomous so no driver would be required, Tesla can charge consumers less um, than Uber and uh, Lyft to be in a car that has a lot better features and a lot better entertainment. entertainment. The only problem I can see is that people might be having so much fun in the Tesla, in the Tesla Model, Model S Plaid, that when they're driving, you know, when the car is driving them to their location in the future, they might not want to leave the car as the car is adding more entertainment than the actual destination they were intending to go to. When I try to do the headspace of the future car buyer looking for a car in this price range, or even the customer of the, future, of the Tesla fleet that will hopefully be coming out in the future, um, I think that Tesla has produced a product that is going to be high on consumers' list in terms of what they want. Lastly, I can see Plaid-type vehicles providing even more profit to the owner if he or she decides to put their car onto the Tesla fleet as the entertainment um, would just be such an added um, convenience or you know choice for someone wanting to catch a ride somewhere. This level of entertainment in a vehicle is just unmatched when you look at any other car on the market at the time of this recording. All right, guys, that's all I have for this one. Um, just to point that out there, I like to, you know, Reiterate, I am a Tesla investor, and um, the release of this car is a positive look for the company. Um, so that's positive um, for me, giving me positive reinforcements um, on my investments. Please, guys, make sure to subscribe. Um, check out our Twitter account down below. Um, make sure to smash that like, like Tinder. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if any um, of your guys' opinions on the Tesla Model S Plaid. It's, it's a stellar car from what I can see. The engineering, beautiful. That's all I have. Thank you guys for watching.